So when did you get here today? Yeah, uh, uh, just a little while ago. Okay. I just thought I'd come up, and uh, you know, I'm a constituent of this uh, this district, and uh, and I really like that sign that shows uh, Duncan uh, coming back from his third tour in Iraq and Afghanistan. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one of the very few combat uh, uh, Marines or combat soldiers in the U.S. Congress, and I think that that represents his uh, his uh, uh, policy, his attitude, his ethic. Yeah. Uh, that uh, he's a guy who serves. So, um, uh, Dwayne was the, one of the first people to uh, endorse uh, Donald Trump. Do you think uh, uh, that helped uh, help your help your son? Or you know, you know what he does? It's kind of like the day after we were attacked on 9/11. Yeah. He just quit his job that day, went down, joined the Marines, and went out to protect us. Yeah. He doesn't calculate as to whether he's going to be safe or it's going to help him. He does what he thinks is right. And right. He's, and you know we. We've sent five million manufacturing jobs to China now. Yes. Trump said he's going to bring them back. Right. If we can bring back even half of those five million jobs we've sent to China, San Diego's share of that is 60,000 jobs. Hmm. 60,000 jobs. If we can bring back half of those, that'll be a successful presidency for Trump. Do you, you know, I, I've talked to a number of uh, uh, Trump fans. Do you have any issues with, with the president, or are you uh, with him all the way? Well, on the important things, the important, yeah. the important thing is we've gutted our industrial base. Yeah. We sent five million American jobs that used to pay for kids' education, pay for mortgages, pay for people to be able to pursue the American dream, and those jobs are gone. Yeah. We're still buying the products that are made by those manufacturing concerns, but they're being made in other countries. Yeah. Trump says he's going to bring those back. That's big. And I thought my son had a great line when he said, I'm endorsing this guy. He said, Sir. We're not hiring him to go out on a date with him. We're hiring him for policy. Right. If he can bring half of those five million jobs, we've, and he's already gotten Ford to say they're not going to build the billion-dollar plant in Mexico. Yeah. We Americans know how to make Fords. Yeah. Right. The idea that uh, that we can't make anything, so we send all this stuff offshore yeah. to be made. That's a tremendous issue because that that's the 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 wherewithal for American families to be able to feed their families, to pay their mortgage. Mortgages, to send their kids to college. Right. But doesn't President Trump compromise the policy goals and ambitions by tweeting that Barack Obama uh, ordered Listen, I, I don't know. I haven't read about that stuff. So you'll have to. I, I, I look at the big picture. Yeah. If, if Trump can bring back two and a half million jobs from China, successful presidency. Right? Okay, if but he can't, if he can't can, bring him back, unsuccessful. But I don't can, care about the Trump, National Enquirer. How, how can Trump be successful if he is impeached for violations of the emoluments well, clause? Well, now you're going nuts on me here. Yeah, so yeah. You're, you're kind of nutsy squirrel. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, he's a brand new president. You know what we yeah. did when Obama got elected? What? All the conservatives that didn't support him. I remember going to our little Baptist church two weeks later. Yeah. And our preacher, conservative who had campaigned against Obama, got up and led a prayer for his success. Why can't the losers lead a prayer for Trump's success and say he's still he's our president, let's give him a chance. Where's the let's give him a chance here? Right. Right? 